Hello friends, so in the last session we looked at how we can use the, uh, I mean we got the bit of error handling, right? Uh, we actually saw the value error that we were getting on the Python program and we found the way that how we can actually uh, create an exception for those value errors, right? Um, in this session we are going to cover more on uh, the same things and how we are going to use that in loops uh, using if and um, uh, elif uh, statements, alright? Okay, so I'll see you in the session. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, so let's continue with our uh, discussion on try, accept, else, finally. Yeah, great. Uh, so we are going to use the same program which we used uh, in the earlier session uh, that was for uh, try, accept. Uh, we are going to fine tune this program so that we are going to utilize else and if, right? So in the last session we saw that uh, how we were able to handle the exceptions right and uh, we also saw uh, how we can actually add uh, the accept value error to avoid any um, errors right now by now we know that there are two types of errors isn't it uh, one is the syntax error uh, that you uh, that you can see during um, the I mean before uh, before the code actually starts executing, and then the other one is the logical errors which you will see only after the code is executed, right? Great. So we have seen the difference between the two also in the previous sessions, right? And we had also seen how to handle exceptions by giving that accept value error, right? So try accept can have two more extensions that is else and finally they actually add some more functionalities which we are going to see um, them here in this uh, particular code now um, let's uh, use this code okay and uh, we'll see uh, we'll add uh, the else to the code and see um, how it actually works and then later on in the session we are going to add finally okay so I'm actually um, running you through the program so we had this uh, import sys which we used to import the module of uh, the sys right, which was actually helping us in executing the entire code right and that is the inbuilt uh, module for python isn't it all right so we use that and then we uh, will print a banner which uh, which will give a program to uh, it will actually print a, pro a banner to the uh, user that this is a program to compare two numbers and then L will take the input uh, from the user and another variable U will take another uh, input from the user. Now in the next part we are actually using try and uh, yeah and then it is actually converting whatever the value that is put it is converting to a int value. Same for U provided a user puts a, a integer uh, value or a float value then it will convert to an int value right. But then uh, we knew that okay, if the user keys in the space or any character, then it will actually generate an error in the uh, execution of the code, and then it will throw um, the value error. So for that, what we had done is we had actually kept the accept value error, and then if that happens when the user keys in something other than uh, integer value, then it would print. Uh, program will only accept integers and then it will exit out of the program right till now it was all good now what happens uh, in this is it actually exits out of the program isn't it this part of the code is not executed right so for that what we'll do is we'll add an else statement here right now since we have added an else statement here we'll have to indent it isn't it yeah and this also right 
Now since um, and even here okay and this part also right so since we have added an else part here what what it does is it's still going to execute this part right we want to execute this part of the code also so for that what we'll have to do is we'll have to remove this code uh, this line of the code so the way we can do is we can actually remove it or we can do in hash so this uh, and since you are getting rid of this line then even this part is not needed so we can actually comment this one also and you guys know that uh, if you're putting in hash before any any uh, line um, then it will be treated as in comment and uh, the interpreter will will actually uh, exclude that uh, line uh, when, when it is executing the codes right great uh, let me uh, save this program I did it uh, by pre pressing ctrl s now let me try to execute this program and let's see what happens all right okay I got a syntax error uh, give me one minute okay all right now let's uh, I'll do control s function f5 yeah I'll actually maximize the screen and I give a number four five so it gives u is greater looks good um, yeah now what happens when I actually um, I'll re I'll execute the program and I'll force the program to create an exception value error exception so um, give me one moment and let's see I'll I'll key in the uh, uh, space and enter and then a number here so what happened is it gave program will execute it actually executed only the, this line and gave the output as program will only accept integers right and then exit it out right so uh, now actually uh, if a program is to run only this part we, we were able to get it done uh, the result was fine and when whenever uh, the user inputted a number still it was able to uh, execute till the end but there was no uh, output like uh, this one right we were not able to get this output uh, where actually the way it actually exited the program it was like um, like um, it was looking like an abrupt exit out of the program isn't it so how we can add this line so for this I would want to introduce the another concept that is finally right so now as we can see um, that uh, thanks was not given so if we want to add that message to the uh, to the to the output of the program then we ha will have to use the final uh, finally statement yeah so finally is used to execute certain lines of codes even if there is an exception or even if there is no exception so it will print even if there is an exception or if there is no exception so that's what we wanted to achieve isn't it so for that what we'll have to do is we'll have to add a statement finally so finally colon and then now let's have a look okay so what happens now okay I input a number 4 and then I 5 and then I got thank you isn't it right yeah let me uh, redo it again with a new window uh, function f5 and I give a number 4 and then 5 now I can see I, I got a thank you which was here right finally yeah because this part of the code will be executed even if there's an exception or there's no exception right so we have checked when there is no exception and we were able to get thank you right now let's try to uh, create a uh, logical error in the program by keying in a uh, space for the first number and um, e for the second number yeah this time we got the output as program will only accept integers and thank you so it was executed this part this line here right and also thank you 
so you saw that right great so uh, that's all guys for now for this session um, I hope you were able to follow it all uh, quite nicely and um, for um, future lessons uh, I would uh, request you to click on the subscribe icon and also click on the bell icon for getting the updates on the real time basis alright until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you